I'm gonna show you the behind the scenes of how much manga I have piled up that I need to film so yeah let's go okay there is piles guys I don't know if you can see there's piles of manga and it goes over there too it is crazy over here Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. So it's been a hot minute. Well, more than a hot minute. It's been a while. I think it's been about three months, more than three months since I last filmed. I think the last video I filmed was back in December. And right now it is the 31st of March. So hopefully by the time you're watching this is only two or three weeks away from lifetime so this is me currently your gal's doing very well i've been very busy i've been working i literally just finished work and i'm so glad we're going into spring because lighting the lighting is so nice so that means collection videos coming out soon organization video coming out soon i've been saying this for months but it will be soon hopefully because i would have some free time soon with bank holidays coming up but um yeah i'm really excited um i'm quite anxious at the same time as my collection has grown so much piles of manga i know right madness like down here the amount of parcels i've accumulated this past few months too much too much and if you can tell with my shelves it looks a little bit more empty compared to my other hauls is because i actually put them in a lot of um clear plastic plastic <laughs> clear plastic boxes which i have if you can hear underneath this desk and some side of me so yeah currently my manga collection is more like not in shelves it's more like in boxes like it's going to ship off somewhere which not likely i'm moving houses anytime soon because i need to get rich but right now rich rich doesn't seem like anytime soon as you can tell from the thumbnail you can tell it's a world of books manga haul plus some secondhand manga and also some manga bargains that caitlin picked up for me so um yeah i think i have about 12 world of book manga parcels i might be wrong but there should be some double stacked in some of these parcels as well but um yeah basically bit of background I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in ages. That's why I'm like, let me just update you guys. So this year, my manga goal or my manga collecting journey objective is to pick up manga for a bargain price, basically. As if you know me, I tend to pick up manga for a bargain as in a few pence cheaper, maybe a pound, but I don't buy manga like cheap, cheap. And I really need to start buying manga cheap, cheap, like how I used to do when I first started this collection. But... I think once I got to a goal in my collection journey where I collected all the manga that I wanted when it came to shoujo and I'm starting picking up more ongoing series, it's a lot harder to buy manga for cheap cheap, you know? A lot of the time it's retail price, three for two, but not dirt cheap. And I'm trying to be like Kate Timson's manga this year where I pick up manga on a bargain. She's not just the East Kai queen, she picks up manga like... Bro, like sometimes she picks up manga, I swear, for like 10 pence or 99p. Okay, 10 pence is ridiculous. I don't know who's blessing Caitlyn with these manga deals because I need it myself. So yeah, this year I'm trying to pick up a lot of manga for a bargain as if you know, manga inflation is very real at the moment, especially in the UK. I'm not too sure with like in the US or Canada or everywhere else in the world. But in the UK, manga has gone expensive and it is ridiculous. So with my World of Books parcels, I have some in plastic bags and some in cardboard packaging. I really need to be careful as I do have my dress on all of these parcels and I haven't had time to scribble them out. So yeah, it might be a pain in the bum when it comes to editing if I do flash my address. But um, yeah, let's get started. So if you guys know, I have picked up manga from World of Books quite a while back, like two years ago when I picked up this volume. Oh my God this kiss me on the stroke of midnight volume two it came out um quite water damaged and it's it's not looking too bad here it doesn't smell too bad either it, it, it i won't say it's the worst but um you can see all the coffee and tea stains which yeah your gal's not happy about so i think this one i've been saying i'm gonna unhaul it but you know me, I'm a hoarder. I've been keeping this in my collection for a while. I just need to unhaul it somehow. Like, do any of you guys want this manga? I know it's a bit damaged, but do you guys want it? Because your gal doesn't want it. Ooh! 
Okay, there's two volumes. Let's do this. So the first volume I got. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, I picked up Kimi ni Todoke um, volume 11 and Kimi ni Todoke volume 6. So this I recently started collecting. Um, you'll see volume 1 somewhere in my like Forbidden Planet haul, but the condition! What? It's brand new! Wait, 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 hold up. I need to check the um, reprint date because this literally looks brand new. Smells pretty good to me. Oh my god. Okay. I'm going to list the prices that I picked up for these volumes as well because I don't remember any of them. This was um, the third printing for October 2022. So this is brand new, bro. I'm so happy. I am so happy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. World of Books. Maybe I should shop more from there. I can't believe it's brand new and I expected it to be secondhand. And the fact that I got it for less than three for two price as well bargain like i really need to do a big shout out to you guys on our discord channel especially under bargain finds like liddy moon kitsune you guys have been fueling my addiction with manga like <laughs> every time you guys put a manga deal on there i'm like shit i need to pick that up right now and um yeah can we need to lock it like sorry i'm just in so much awe because i really didn't believe that this was under free for two and it was under very good condition I think I'm converted guys, I'm converted. I think I need to just start buying more manga from World of Books now. So yeah, that is volume six and 11. <laughs> I'm so excited to see what's in the next parcel now. So let's just open this. I think these scissors are really not working so I'm just gonna rip them. So, oh, these are so hard to rip. Jeez, Jim is not doing, <gasps> oh wait, is this the volume? Oh, 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 oh goodness me definitely will be putting the prices down below bride story volume 13 so this was um really cheap i believe or well under retail price and just the quality i like i think i've seen this manga i'm not sure if you guys remember especially if you guys are new but basically i think a few years back when i visited my cousin he has a manga collection too i think i saw volume one of this and i was like I need this and I heard so many good things about this series as well so I don't know much about it but the fact that I picked this up for a bargain and it's a hardback hey 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 okay let me see oh okay so this is what it looks like without the flap but oh I think I actually prefer it without the cover let's just check out the quality wait <laughs> I was a bit confused now. I thought the manga style was this I was like Nah, that couldn't be, but no, but wow, wow, <laughs> all I can say is wow, wow, <laughs> how much did I pick this up for? I really need to know how much because I think I really picked this up for a really cheap price and world of books you are surprising me here today like i was not expecting that because really i was expecting another like situation with kiss me at the stroke of midnight volume two but so far three volumes in good condition i'm well chuffed so yeah i need to give this up with this kitty scissors it's not working oh i wonder if you can recycle this bag i hope you can please recycle oh yeah you can you can nice world of books nice i like it when companies do recyclable packaging but again this you're joking me the quality it literally looks brand new like i picked it up from the planet okay hence a little bentness but anything but we can flatten that out but this is let's go karaoke i believe this volume like retail price cost about 11 pound 99 something like that but i picked this up for like i think four pounds or maybe five pounds and hello world of books where are you getting all these stock like is it dead stock or something because hell yeah hell yeah uh-huh mm-hmm the quality i can't go over it i just can't go over it like there's nothing to fault here. I think it probably looks better than the ones in the shelves that I've seen in Forbidden Planet. Because I think some of the ones in Forbidden Planet, the spines look a bit like um, chipped in that. And like it's been sitting there for a while. But this looks pretty good. 
well, way better than pretty good. So next I have, oh, I don't know why there's a rubber band. Actually, oh, I think this was to attach all the parcels that I got. Not gonna lie, I think my family are quite annoyed at me for the amount of manga parcels that has been coming through lately. I think I've been buying more as of late. Oh, this feels a bit old. Okay, okay, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. It's an old series anyway. The quality actually looks pretty good. Is that a library condition? Oh, it's a library. Oh, the X library. Mm. Okay, it's not too bad. This is from Dun Lauke Raft Down Libraries. Not sure where that is. Is that in the US? Is that in the UK? But I basically picked up Happy Mania. Oh, yeah, this this volume one looks a bit dirty. Definitely need to give it a good clean. Like, look at that. Yeah dirty but anyway um i think some of you guys probably have seen me pick up this series already on my instagram live as i did pick up some of these volumes when i did like a manga hunt for bargain finds but yeah i think this is a library copy i'm not sure about this one too maybe this one too but the condition is actually not too bad so yeah i think i just need to give it a deep clean as always when it comes to secondhand manga i normally give it a good wipe and like I'll put it in a box with some like dryer sheets so it just smells a bit nice. So the next series I picked up, I see a very yellow volume and what's this? So this, oh, okay. It's not too bad, it's not too bad. It's just very yellow. I picked up, is it bad? Volume two of Children of the World. So this is a series that I'm planning to collect. Well, I am already collecting. And um, yeah, I thought I saw some volumes on World of Books and thought, might as well pick them up like i'm not too fussed with the quality manga is gonna yellow anyway so yeah as long as it's not water damaged i'm pretty cool when it comes to manga quality but oh my god i think i've gone into a sad scene okay let me just skip some scenes there i think i was about to cry there that was quite emotional that scene just saw but um the art style it is stunning recently viz has updated their logo so my volumes might look a bit clashy on my shelves in the future but here's what it is the next volumes i picked up is oh more children as well okay so this is volume one okay the vol uh oh this is quite yellow too <laughs> but um yeah me not first i think i picked these up for a decent price and yeah not bad but yeah this used to be eight pound 99 but i think Nowadays, buying children of worlds costs about nine pound ninety nine. The next series I picked up is um, Sweetness and Lightning, Volume Ten. So, yeah, this is. I think this is secondhand, but condition's not bad. It's got a bit of creasing here. I don't know if you can see, but that's not an issue. Nice, me likey likey. Um, I'll show you some of the art style at the front here. But not too much but yeah this is a slice of life manga i think boogie snacks really like the series but um know nothing about it i know i think trash taste did talk about this series recently as well i think a few videos back so yeah i started collecting this series too hope coming through hope coming through okay there's two volumes oh it's not two volumes okay there's one volume in here and this is utsubora and this said it was brand new, but I'm pretty sure this series was like cling filmed, not cling film, but ah, oh, plastic wrap, that's the word, um, when I saw this in store, but um, the cover does look quite scary, in my opinion, like, I'm not sure how this series is going to go, I think as it came in a plastic bag, it probably got a bit bent, like, on the way here, but yeah, it's a bit yellow as well, I don't know if you can see by the colouring, but um, yeah i'm looking forward to reading the series i think this series is deep yes it is 18 plus if you can see 18 plus so you can see the art style so this is what the series looks like but yeah let me know as well if you've read this i haven't really seen anyone talk about this i've seen it quite a few times in waterstones this series cover did catch my eye as this was literally like this on the bookshelf in waterstones and i was like oh it looks a bit scary but quite intrigued as well. Utsubora intimates the story of a novelist who succumbs to the siren call of plagiarism when a mysterious beauty straight from his own pages accosts him unbidden. Suspenseful, intelligent and sensual, treasured and authoress 
Asumiko Nakamura's masterpiece today and first work to become available in English is a rare treat. Delectable vindication for mature appreciators of the Japanese graphic novel. Okay, definitely intrigued about this. Sounds deep. And um, yeah, I've never read any of this manga's works and I really like the... Yeah, I really like the art styles. Very fine lines, if you can tell. So the next series I picked up is In the Clear Moonlit Dust. I have pre-ordered this on um, Forbidden Planet online website, but I may have to cancel it if there's a better bargain deal somewhere else once the volumes are out. But um, yeah, I'm interested in the series. Um, it's by Mika Yamamori. I'm not sure what other series does. Oh, I think um, this is the same author as Daytime Shooting Star, I believe, or um was that series recently hey something subaki cho yeah it is the same um author by subaki cho lonely planet so yeah i'm looking forward to this one and yeah let's see the quality pretty sure on the website this was set as very good condition but from the looks of it it looks brand spanking new as it recently literally recently came out so yeah pretty happy about that oh doesn't he look like it's all me from like a sign of affection? What's going on here? Interesting. But yeah, I'll definitely give it a read and update you guys my thoughts on this. Oh, hey, it finally came. So it is Dinosaur Sanctuary Volume 2. So I think I picked this up for like seven to eight pounds, which is not too bad as I think this retails for £11.99. But yeah, this is quite a nice slice of life manga with like dinosaurs and yeah it, it really warms my heart i don't know like when i read the first volume i did felt comforted from it so um yeah highly recommend i feel like the cardboard packaging is so much easier because i could just rip this part rather than the plastic bags oh, it's a bit sticky okay so the next series i picked up is oh yeah boys so i think after this video i'm going to start reading tokyo revengers but um this is volume seven and eight condition fantastic and yeah i think i picked it up for brand new because this is a very new volume i think recently when i went to the planet like the whole shelf was filled with this volume i think this series is actually complete so yeah i'm looking forward to finishing completing the series but yeah definitely will be starting reading this soon let me know um down below what you love about tokyo revengers by the way the stack is wobbling okay what's this it looks very very thin and if you can tell from here it's just all white I'm a bit confused. What did I pick up? What did I pick up? Oh, yeah! Okay, so let me just calm down. This series I've seen in Forbidden Planet like a few weeks back. And I was like, oh, it's so expensive though. I think this costs like £13.99 plus or maybe more. But um, I really like the art style. And the thing is, what I like about it is in colour. I think it's basically a slice of life about a house husband and yeah daddy at work and at home okay he's not just a house husband he works too but yeah you can see it's very simple and i am so excited these next two volumes feel a bit thin so the next oh, yeah. so the next series i got is i'll never be your crown princess volume two definitely reading this at this manga haul if you guys don't know this is one of my favorite smart isekai series that's out at the moment and thank you seven seas Thank you so, so much for publishing this series. It's one of my favourite out of the steamship line. Like, fuck me. This is so good. <sighs> I, I, I can't wait. No, I'm going to keep this plastic wrapped. I'm going to keep it plastic wrapped. I'm going to open it later at night once I finish. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. That nearly fell. Okay. So, I picked up... Oh! I completely forgot about this series. Case study of Vanitas Volume 2. So... I have had volume one for a while. I don't even know where my volume one is, but I'm pretty sure I put it in a plastic box because I haven't read this yet. So, um, oh no, mm, no, sorry. The back here looks a bit like, I don't know what's going on here. Aww, that sucks. Not too bad. Anyway, volume two of Case Study of Anita's. Don't know anything about this. I'm not even sure if it's complete or it's ongoing, but um actually I think it's ongoing. I think I have pre-ordered the volume on Boom Planet, but currently I think I just own volume one and two of Case Study and Vanitas. I know it's about vampires. 
don't know anything else about this, this series. Oh, this looks pretty. Looks very pretty. But yeah, I wonder what this series is going to be like, basically. I'm, I really don't know. I feel like it was a hype when it first came out. And then I was like, yeah, let me pick up the first volume. Had the first volume for a while. Took it to uni. Didn't even read it. And now I'm like, do I still commit to collecting this series? I'm not sure. Please don't mind the lighting and angle change as I had to change my battery, but I think that was a pretty much successful World of Books order. I think they really stepped up their game compared to the previous year or two when I picked up Kiss Me at the Stroke of Midnight because every volume, I don't think one has this point. So I'm pretty happy about that. And then with Happy Mania, all I need to do is just give it a wipe and just some dryer sheets to make it smell nice. But other than that, I'm really chuffed. I am so happy about it. I think World of Books is definitely going to be one of my go-to websites to buy manga. But yeah, anyway, on to my second-hand manga parcel. So I picked up all these volumes for, I think, £80, which I'm not proud of for saying that. Is it Actually, if you equate it, if you divide £80 by the amount of volumes I got, it's not too bad. But to be honest, I think I could have got these volumes for a lot cheaper. <coughs> excuse me that came out so naturally i do apologize i think on youtube bro like i am known for too many things and one of the things that i'm known for is my burps and i do apologize but anyway moving on i picked up central phrase and tramps like us because i think i picked up volume two and three or yeah i think i picked up two volume two and three of tramps like us and i don't i'm not sure if i'm ever gonna be able to complete this series as it is um out of print is published by tokyo pop but yeah let me just take it out of its bubble wrap i picked up volume one and i picked up volume two i believe you can read this on amazon prime for free actually so with central phrase that i picked up i managed to pick up quite a lot of the volumes but it's not a complete set so i will have to rummage around google to find the other volumes but lately i haven't had any luck so i'm not sure if i'm regretting picking this series up without it being a full set but it is what it is anyway this is one of my favorite shoujo shall i say the reason why i'm doing quotation marks because it does it is a shoujo premise but it has a lot of mature stuff as in like smut but um yeah i'm really excited to give this series a reread i remember reading this series like back in the day on my phone and i was like damn this is a really nice smutty series <laughs> but um yeah i think it does have a lot of flaws in this series as well because it's an older shoujo as you know but um yeah this is by mayu shinjo i think this is the same manga as um demon love spell i believe might be wrong but um yeah, this is Central Phrase. Really excited to read this. But I think it's about this guy who is like... Well, not a K-pop idol, but a J-pop idol. But let me just show you the first. Is that him? He's a singer? Yeah. Okay. But um, yeah, definitely need to update you guys my thoughts if this series has aged well. Oh, it's gone into smut straight away. Let me just skip some pages. Uh, where can I find? Ah! Okay, let's just do this. But um, yeah, I really like the old art style and yeah, I'm really excited to reread this. I haven't read this for a long time now. Maybe, like when did this series come out? Does it say? So this series came out back in 2003. So it's been a while, it's been 20 years, my God. But yeah, I think I read this like probably 10 years ago. Yeah. I think 10 years ago, that makes sense. Yeah, this is volume one, volume two, three, four, volume five, six, seven, volume nine, volume 10, volume 11, volume 15, volume 16, and last of all, the last volume, volume 18. So definitely I have quite a few gaps to fill, but um, yeah, that is the amount of manga that I picked up for 80 pounds, basically. I know, I know, a lot of money. So lastly, I got some manga from Caitlin that she picked up for me, and I'm so happy about this. So let me show you. So all of this is half price, so definitely a bargain, and it's a completed series, 
and I got volume one to five. Let me put this in order so it doesn't freak some of you guys out. I am so thankful for Caitlin for picking up this series as I know this is quite a favorite in the community and I'm just so happy I have this in my hands. Basically, I first saw this in Traveling Man, I think Manchester, and I was like, oh my God, they have all the volumes. But I was like, it's too expensive for me to pick up as in Traveling Man, Manchester, these are not free for two but these were on sale for 50 percent off and oh my god she knows me so well like literally she saw these volumes and she picked it up for me without me even like knowing like basically i think she sent the group chat loads of photos of all the sale manga but i think by the time i read the messages she already left the store but she actually picked these up for me beforehand and i'm so happy last series that caitlin picked up for me is yukarism so she picked up volume two and volume three and volume four for me so this is the final volume so it's a four volume series this series actually has been on my radar for quite a while now i think ever since i started collecting i think once this came out i was like I really want this i really like the art style i think i picked up volume one either on black worlds or books please for like seven pounds so um which is not the best but i did get these volumes for a very cheap price which i'm very happy about but um yeah that is it for this manga haul definitely a lot of manga that i went through let me let me put you guys back on the desk like I don't know how much manga that I picked up. Yeah, that's it for this manga haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm so happy about the manga conditions, literally over the moon. Like some of these are brand new and I just can't believe it. Yeah, definitely will be shopping from World of Books from now on. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a lovely day and lovely week, you know. Hopefully next week there'll be a new video, but I think from now on, I must say, I think my videos are gonna come out like probably bi-weekly or every now and then monday as i don't think i can guarantee the weekly monday schedule at all like i've been trying to keep up with it sometimes it looks promising sometimes there's no video and i really do apologize before i go i do want to say a huge thank you though to you guys like literally you guys have stuck around for a while now and i see your comments literally i think out of the dudettes i am the worst when it comes to social media i'm like i don't post tiktoks i hardly post on instagram i hardly do my stories anymore like i feel like i've been less active um than i used to be and i'm really sorry about that but from now on um yeah I'm not going to guarantee the weekly uploads, but I do want to say a huge thank you for those of you guys that have stuck around for a while and have supported me. Like, it means a lot. Like, every time you guys comment on my YouTube, like, it makes me so happy. And yeah, that is all from me, and I'm going to go now. Bye!